Alrighty. We are live. Um, I had some weird audio issues earlier. So if you can't hear me, please let me know. Um, I had to crank up my mic mixer for some reason on Ob Studio. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> Let me know if you can't hear me. I'm finding the music to be a bit loud, so I'm going to drop that down a bit as well. Okay. <clears throat> so for today's live stream, I am going to be testing WordPress Playground a little bit. Um, if you don't know, WordPress Playground is a version of WordPress that runs in your browser. Uh, it's essentially using something called, let me actually just go to the GitHub repository. Um, it uses something called WebAssembly, um, which thanks Wikipedia. <laughs> Is a portable binary code format and text format for executable programs. Uh, let's see what Wikipedia has to say about that. High performance applications on web pages. Uh, it's been around since 2017. Um, and I know nothing about it other than WordPress Playground uses it. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Basically, if you go to the WordPress Playground homepage, there is the version of WordPress running in the browser, for example. I can view the dashboard. Um, I can view the front end. So this is all running. This is a standalone WordPress instance running inside, I think, an iframe. Uh, let's just check that out. Oh, looks like this one's not running in an iframe. Which is kind of cool. Um, and you can do all kinds of fun things with it. So you can, there's a way to, you can save it. using the export button and it's basically the complete site that you built you can host it anywhere you can restore a saved site um, it has the potential to be like something that hosting companies could use so you could spin up someone's wordpress site using this technology um, which theoretically would mean you wouldn't need traditional hosting um, So if you missed it, I recommend checking this out. Now, the main reason that I am here today is I'm trying to test this out as a replacement for my local dev environment. Um, so there is a Visual Code Studio plugin that allows you to run WordPress Playground in VS Code. And there is also a CLI tool called WP Now, which is kind of like WP ENV or any kind of other Docker based WordPress local environment, but it uses WordPress Playground as the back end, if you will. Um, I have for the longest time, I wouldn't say for the longest time, but I have for a while now been using a personal local environment project that I developed about two years ago now. It runs on something called Multipass, which is a virtualized Ubuntu server. Um, and what I like about it is I'm basically running an Ubuntu server on my machine, so I have access to all those Ubuntu things. So it is very opinionated. It is set up very specifically to how I do things. I'm trying to make it possible to use it across all operating systems. Um, but essentially I can have things like um, local URLs, um, 
that have locally signed certificates um, and basically just run it runs like any other web server <clears throat> so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to test out I think I'll start with WP now mainly because Visual Studio Code requires me to be inside Visual Studio Code um, so I'm going to try WP now on a local WordPress site I'm going to see what's possible and what isn't uh, so here's WP now You can you can launch it inside a plugin or theme directory. You can launch it inside a WordPress install. Um, WordPress mode is essentially the mode that you can run. Um, so it automatically detects the mode. I like the fact that it has a WordPress develop option. I'd like to try that out. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to start with today. So to do that, I am going to um, inside my development directory, I'm going to go into websites. There's a bunch of sites there. I just remove a bunch of these. Um, actually, let's just create a new site. So let's call it. Oh, let's just call it WP now. Why not? <laughs> uh, and then my preferred way of doing it is I want to have a fully sort of traditional WordPress setup inside this directory. So, if I open this in PHP Storm, I should now see my WordPress files. All good. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, okay, so WordPress hasn't been installed yet because the config file hasn't been created, which is fine. Um, just enable WordPress support, that's fine. Okay. So that's my preferred way to run WordPress, to have access to all WordPress files. So now, I should be able to run WP now start. Uh, I think I do already have WP now installed. Let me just check that. I could just install this in the project, I guess. Okay, it doesn't be installed. So let's go WP now start just work. Okay, so the WordPress folder already exists. And I mean, that's up and running. Uh, so that's pretty quick, I have to say. So checks the mode set to WordPress, PHP version set to PHP 8, it's using the latest WordPress, it already checks, it says it's already there, so skipping the download. Oh, that's cool. I could have actually done... Okay, I'm going to close this. So what happens if I close the other side breaks. So I'm actually going to go back one step. And I'm going to remove everything in this directory. And then I'm going to run WP now start again. Oh, did, did that 
hit everything. Somehow I don't think it did. Do you want to delete all files? Yes. Oh. Okay, the idea can sell it. Okay, so it is actually removing everything. So if I run WP now start. How does that work? Ooh, it doesn't it doesn't actually install the files. So that's interesting. So where does it where does it put where are the files? <laughs> Now I'm curious. Um, Run, so how does that work? It's uh, interesting. So the mode here is playground. Okay, so what does that mean? Launches a completely virtualized WordPress site. Okay, so I have no access to the files. Okay, so how do I how do I specify the version? Oh, it doesn't look like I can. Okay. All right, that's fine. So now if I Download the core files and then run WP now. Now the question is, is this running this file? It's created a config. So does that mean that I can make changes here? Let's see something. Um, something in the database directory. is running that code so let's see if we can so I actually was fiddling with this file today so I know exactly what to change uh, index PHP and there so I just want to make this change yeah. okay so I'm actually definitely working with those files all right that's that's kind of cool um so how does it work now I want to know how it works I have a database directory and a db.php directory. Where is my database? 
because as far as I know, this thing is using the SQLite version of the database. But it doesn't seem to be a particular compliance. Okay, so see SQL. So myself and not finishing my sentences now. <laughs> um, okay. Content. Nothing in the database. Nothing in the unit PHP. I wonder if that's because hidden files it's yeah, hidden files. Um, this is a Mac OS Mac OS thing. Uh, Mac OS show hidden files. It's like a keyboard shortcut. Command shift and period key. Now I'm using a non <laughs> I'm using a non Mac keyboard to have to do it. Yeah, command shift. Didn't seem to be any hidden folders. So where's the database? <laughs> How does that work? Maybe it's all maybe it's all internal. Hmm, interesting. Was a Figure out where the database is stored. <coughs> Interesting. WP now home directory is used to store versions. It looks like it does symlinks. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, interesting. So that's how that works. Content folders. So that means. Interesting. Interesting. So what? 
happens if I install a plugin? Let's see, add new plugin. I'm going to stick something like fake press in here and just see what that installs. So it actually, inst it actually installs it in my local. That's cool. Okay, so the only things that are sitting in that directory are the sort of required things. In this case, okay. so the database is stored there. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, I quite like that. Um, so my only two, let's call them complaints, is the URL structure. I would love to have a locally signed cert and a cleaner URL. Um, but that's really the only thing that I can think of that would be a problem now with this. Let's see what happens when I update the panel link structure. Okay, that seems to be working as expected. It used to, previously it used to have an index.php in the URL, but it seems like that's fixed. Um, that's actually really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so if there was a way to have a clean URL and a locally signed search with this, I suppose the locally signed search is not that important. It is nice to have. It's not that important. Um, so now what I want to do, just knock my mic out the way. So now what I want to do is I want to create a new one. So let's say um, make the let's call it learn press. Want a good word. Core download. Topina. Ah. All right. Okay, now start. I mean, it just works. <laughs> and it's quick. Um, Super quick. Okay, so let's let's do some. So I want to show you all something. Um, okay, so let's quit out of here. So <clears throat> okay, so things things that yeah, I'm going to, have to run it again. So this is something I haven't fiddled with in a long time. And this is things like setting up URLs and things like that. Um, Okay, so you can do custom URLs. You just need to have it set up in your host file. Um, but what that would do is that would allow you to
Sorry, I just got stuck into reading there. So blueprints basically allow you to run custom custom commands on your install. So let's see if we can configure this to work. So blueprints are essentially JSON format. So let's create, okay. Now one question I do have is, I want to know what happens if I set this to port 80. I'll tell you why, because I've got other things running on port 80. When I start port, where's my port 80? Equals. Okay. That's already a step forward, it's just running on localized, that's kind of cool. I had no idea that was even an option. Um, okay. So now, uh, I should just check something. Just want to make sure I don't have a learn press. I don't have a learn press, so that's great. Okay, so now I need to my host file and put in my password. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't remember my password. <laughs> Okay, so I probably need to point one to seven. To seven dot seven zero one. So that. Okay. So now and to specify the blueprint. Okay, so let's create the blueprint in this file. Um, let's use this one, so it's blueprint.json. Okay, so let's close this one down. Let's open up another one. Development website. Learn press. Okay, let's just create the blueprint in here. 
Okay, I will just call it. What did I call it? I can't what I called it in the first one. Then press the test. I just prefer to use ted.test um, URLs. So then press dot test. So now I started on port 80 and pass in the blueprint. It works. <laughs> That's cool. That's actually really cool. Um, it does mean I need to be able to edit my host file, but that's fine. I'm capable of doing that. Um, if I go to permalinks, so we have to find a post name. Yeah, that works. Not gonna lie, it's really cool. I can I can I can deal with not having SSH SSL SSL's nonsense. Um that's really cool. <clears throat> so now in the blueprints as well. You can do things like set debugging. So let's go back into the blueprint, let's set up the schema. Okay, and then steps define, okay. So that's the config. So this is how I prefer to run all my sites. Let's see if this works. Debug. Display. False. WP debug. Log. True. Okay. And then I also want to be able to Set up my my site name. Just steps, preferred versions, starting things and plugins, running custom code. I want to store things in the settings. Check the schema. If 
good versions, which is constants, plugins, side options. That's what I'm going to need. <coughs> Site options. Blog name. Empress. Site URL is set up already. Blog name is set up. Uh, that should be it. I wonder what other options there are. If there is any blog name. Okay. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, there is a block name. Um, it looks like you stay logged in. Um, so that's cool. <coughs> the one thing that this could really use is... I don't know if... Is activate same steps if you step to find such your old step. Oh, you can actually. Interesting. You can define it that way. Okay, so it's landing page, preferred versions. This probably needs to be dated. Because PHP extension bundles is there as well. Features. Oh, right. okay. So this is really just updating documentation. Okay, cool. And then steps. And steps, you've got activate plugin step, you've got activate theme step. Copy step to find such your old step. To, oh, that sets the home and such your old constants. Oh, they say what I've got. I've got to find WP constants. I mean, it's the same thing. Um, but what you could therefore do is something like this. So you could take away the consts there. You could do that. Step needs its own object. No, not there. No. There. There we go. So now we can say no. Press. Test. Okay. Default rewrites the config. Define before run, defines the constant before running the script. It doesn't alter the file on the disk. The <coughs> constant defines the make of existing to define calls. Uh, I prefer this one. That should so. 
I'm still flagging a theme, it's cool. I'm not going to use it right now. I guess using the define before run method is not the end of the world. Just means just means it doesn't actually physically make the change, which I generally prefer, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's what the blueprint looks like. So now here's a question. <coughs> if I want to reset this, does it just work if I run it now? Create a fresh database. Okay, so let's do that, and let's do that, and let's do that. Ah, here. Must not have additional properties in steps one. Ah, maybe that one you can't set a record. Makes sense. Okay, let's run that and see what happens. Hmm. Okay, so maybe that's not the way to do it. Side options, block mag, no press. That's this one. What if I need to do this before the steps?
Oh, it's been deprecated. <laughs> <laughs> this experimental option will change without warning. Use steps instead. All right, fine. <laughs> so we need to use this one. Okay. Um, so let's go back a few steps. Steps. Ha ha ha. Funny. Um, all right, I'm going to need to. Right, do that. Let's get all the constants going. Okay, so we don't do that anymore. It's only steps by the looks of it. That's the whole constant object, okay. <laughs> there. Oh wait, we don't. Find site. Okay, but how do I step to find site name? Okay. Set site options. Okay. So how does site options work? Options object. There must be a series of side options that I can set. Options, block name. Why didn't that come up when I'm trying to? Okay, so possibly the scheme is out of date. 
that's fine. So that means I should be able to take these two out. Because that defines the site URL. That sets up the site options, and then this is up the graphics. Let's see what happens when I run that. Set side options doesn't seem to work. <sighs> okay, so documentation is a big thing. Um, I seem to either be working with an out of date schema or out of date documentation. So, documentation is going to be a big thing if, if I want to do this. Um, <clears throat> if I could get these things to work, then that would solve a lot of the issues that I'm... Maybe site URL doesn't work. Let's try. Doing that and take that. Maybe the reset doesn't work. Oh, something broke there somewhere. Um, do that. Oh, okay, that's already been defined. So my next question would be, how do I wipe this? And the only way I'm going to be able to figure that out is if I actually go into here and delete that one. So let's close that and then let's delete that. Like it would be cool if there was an easier way to do that. What did I just do? It would be cool if there was an easier way to do that, like with a command. Oh, I deleted the wrong one. Okay, um, no, I don't want to delete the blueprint, I'm still trying to get that to work. Um, feels like these things are not, let me just copy this out and see. For some reason. Oh, that's because oh, I need to download the files first. Blast. Um, okay, so let's go to WP core download. Okay, so that's worked by the looks of it. 
Okay, so I'd set up the home URL, the site URL, the debug display, and the debug log. Um, but it does it above those things. So it's not really ideal, Adam, <laughs> if you watch it. Um, I mean, I I would prefer it if it actually, you know, did it in in, in, in this area. Like if, if all of this. Not that how easy or difficult that is to do, but this is really where custom values should be created. Um, <clears throat> just FYI. Um, also, the fact that I've set debug display as false means that I shouldn't see these. Um, just pointing that out. I do have a debug log file, which is great. That's very cool. But if I've set up my config file there, then I shouldn't be seeing this error. Um, I also don't know why I'm seeing these to be home. Let me see something. That having been said, so maybe maybe it should do the find for run option. Okay, well, let's pop that in there. And let's stick this in the JSON file. Okay, so let's go back here, let's kill this, let's delete everything. Okay, that's to be expected. Let's delete the loan press over there. Let's pop the blueprint back into the directory. Okay. 
Okay, and if I go, we now start port agent blueprint JSON. Okay. Now the reason this isn't so quick is because it's running those steps. <clears throat> okay, so that's kind of to be expected because I've set debug here as well, so that's fine. That's all good. So you only want to set things that haven't been set. So that's fine. So let's see if I stop this. Let's see what happens. Okay. Well, that's cool. I wonder what happens if I change that. And press two, and press two. Does it does it rerun really those steps? Yes, it does. That's cool. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, all right. So that. I mean, that could be used, that, that's handy. I, I do like that. Uh, this, is, this is something that I can use, I'll be honest. Um, it gives me the clean URLs that I like. Um, it, it just works, I'm logged in. Um, I wanna check what happens if I log out. I'm going to assume the username is admin and password. Yes, indeed, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Admin password on a local environment is perfectly fine. Um, RSS error, okay, that's probably something. So I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. Um, and I could do things like install plugins, like fake press and all those kind of things. Um, I could take this and I could um, I could script something that outputs the blueprint for me, replacing things with things. Um, and it's easy enough to edit my host file. So I I know enough about command line scripting to be able to actually create a command that might do this for me. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I would do something like create a test blueprint with some placeholders. Um, And then run the commands on it. Is this still throwing an error? Let me just see here. Um. No, that seems to be fine. So that's resolved that problem. So I quite like the idea of sort of setting up a blueprint version that I store somewhere locally. And then I run a command, which I could set up to download WordPress core install, change things to other things, and then run WP now. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Hmm. And I just need to make sure that my host file is set up. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what that would look like. Okay, so I want to find out about this blue blueprint schema. Um, I 
guess I guess what it's doing is it's using whatever the default WordPress site options are. Um, just have a look at the database quickly. So it's requiring you to kind of have an idea. Kind of expecting you to have an understanding of the different site options. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I certainly could use this. I could use this for for a local WordPress install. Um, that's super interesting. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to check something. So there is a specific endpoint. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. Which is a bit of a bummer. It's not the end of the world, but it would be preferable. I would need for it to work, I would need to non pre permanent, so I would need to do this. Which is not great. Documented. Um, see if you go to posts, for example. The URL is to find posts. It's all, everything is using permalinks. Um, so you would need to know how that works. posts yeah so that would work this is obviously how the block is always the back end but it would be really cool if I didn't have to do that if I could just use pretty good blocks that doesn't seem to work so that's maybe something to find out about um, but I do like how the brute loop works. I do like the fact that I can set up configs and things. Um, hmm. Interesting. 
Very, very interesting. I think what I'm going to do going forward from here is I'm going to try and see if I can use this to develop some content next time. So my main reason for using a local environment is for content creation, for learning WordPress. Um, and so I'm thinking, now that I know this, I actually want to store this in just somewhere quickly before I lose it. Uh, and I'm going to store some questions as well. So I'm trying to call this uh, WP now testing. <clears throat> Make it public for now, I don't honestly care. Okay, so first takeaway. Documentation, documentation, documentation. Definitely need things better documented so that all the options are available so that we know how things work. Uh, second question is how to enable the REST API pretty permanent using WP now. I'm actually going to say this is WP now takeaways. Oh, this is WP now testing. It's fine. Um, WP now. Uh, I'm going to leave that if or not. <coughs> Other than that, I'm pretty chuffed with how far this has come, I'll be honest. Um, I feel like a lot of the issues listed here, that one definitely is closed. Or if there was a way to do the MySQL one, but it's still open. I feel like WP now leads its own page in here. <laughs> um, but anyway, I do like the fact that you can change WordPress versions. I quite like that. Extensions, but let's have a look here. Let's dive into some JSON things. So, what options do we have? It just seems to be that option. If that's the only option, why not just. Now I've lost the schema. have it all. I don't understand why you need to specify it. Maybe I'm just weird. Anywho, um, I like the preferred version so you can specify PHP versions. That's cool. I don't know what version of PHP WP now runs with. Default is 8.1, okay, that's cool. OK, 
Okay, so I have to admit I'm quite chuffed with therapy now. Um, it does quite a bit, quite nicely. I quite like it. Um, I'm curious to see if I'm able to use blueprints. in the VS Code extension. Because um, the VS Code extension runs inside VS Code. I'm planning on testing that out next week, or next time, not next week, next time I do a live stream. So I'm quite interested to know how that would work and whether it supports blueprints. Mm. So I'm gonna play with that next time. So now I'm quite I'm quite chuffed with what I've discovered today. Um, I do wonder about the WordPress REST API thing, so I'm going to post a question about that in. I wonder if there's one there already. Let's see. Uh, let's do a search. I don't see anything. Post name. Let's see if that's true. Oh, it still says plain, that's why. I thought I saved it. Still doesn't work. Lost that issue that I was looking at. Uh, dear, what's that? Oh. Uh. But I've already done that. tabs open. That is its first name. It works. <laughs> All right. Well, then that's actually not even an issue. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Um, so I can just delete this now. So documentation is definitely the big thing. Um, better documentation on how the blueprints works. Um, some way to generate blueprints. I know it's not that easy, but some way to basically just to know what all the options are. Um, so. My biggest takeaway would be listing every single option in the blueprint. Uh, maybe it's already there, maybe it's just steps. Those are steps, those are steps, those are steps. But now, for example, landing page. So.
being able to know. I suppose if you're using the schema, then it's fine. But if you don't know that you can say preferred versions, for example. So having a list of all of that somewhere. Um, I suppose Blueprint Data Format. Preferred versions, PHP extensions, features. And then steps. That seems to be okay. So this needs to be updated to cover all of these. And then steps. Okay, so that's that's pretty fully functional. So Reese, I think the blueprint data format just needs to be updated because you've got landing page, preferred version, and steps. You've got PHP extensions, features. I suppose. Maybe it's just a case of getting used to them. Type theme, copy, define site URL. This doesn't seem to work anymore, so maybe an update there. Uh, what does it define site URL? No, that didn't seem to work. Um, let's make a note of that. That definitely worked. That I haven't tried. I haven't really tried any of the others, but I should. Alright, I think I'm going to call it a day there. Um, that was pretty pretty enlightening, I must say. Um, everything seems to be happening in steps. Um, which is something I was not aware of. Page extensions and networking. All right, I'm going to call it a day there. Um, this has been rather interesting and enlightening. I'm looking forward to playing with this a bit more. Uh, my next live stream will probably only be in about three weeks time because I'm away next week and then sort of gathering my thoughts after that trip away. Um, but next week, next time I'll probably dive into the, the VS Code extension and just see what's possible there. Um, and also maybe see if I can try and get so I've all of this automated for myself. Um, while I'm doing that, I'll do some digging around, uh, ask some questions in various places about how things work, um, and maybe see if we can get the documentation. I don't know, I feel like it's very close. I feel like the information is all there. I just maybe struggle to understand how it all works or how it fits together. Um, but yeah, I, I was able to get somewhere today at least, so I'm quite chuffed with that. All right, um, going to call it a day. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, hopefully you found something interesting. Bye-bye. <laughs>